<laughs> this show is so funny. So when is, so when, when are you and Courtney going to go to the mall? As soon as mom gets home. I wish I can go to the mall with you. Yeah, but we'll be going to clothing stores, and I know how much you hate going now. You're right, I do. But if I do go, can't we stop at the toy store for just a little bit? No way. What if I bumped into one of my friends at school at the mall? Tell them that the truth, that you're bringing your little sister to the toy store. Forget it. Besides, Corny promised it would be just her, me and her. So maybe next time I could take you to the mall. Okay? No, it's not okay, but whatever, it's okay. Oh, it's a house phone. That's weird. Courtney must have figured out that I'm not in my actual... Well, you going to pick it up or what? Yeah, hold on. Hello? Hello, oh, who's tea? Oh, my gosh, Courtney, hey. What time are you going to be over? I called to tell you that I can't... We can't go. What? Why? Because my mom came down with the flu. So... Who's going to take us then? I can't go. Mom doesn't want me getting sick. Well, won't you have a better chance getting sick if you stayed home and took care of her? That's what I told her, but she said, no, it's too cold out and the flu bug's going around. So I can't go and she doesn't want me to get you sick either. Or vice versa. We promised we would go to the mall. I know, Christine, I feel terrible, but it's not my fault. I'll call you, to, I'll call you tonight, though. Don't bother, you may want to rest. Why would I want to rest? In case you get the flu. Are you mad at me, Christine? Yes, I'm mad. You promised we would go. Well, I'm sorry, but my mom is sick. I can't help it. Bye, Courtney. What's going on? Courtney can't go to the mall because her stupid mom is sick. Oh. Oh? What do you mean, oh? I just don't see why you're so upset about it. You're just saying that because... Because now I can't go to the mall, so you're stuck with me. Or I'm stuck with you, rather. No, I mean, I'm sorry Courtney's mom's sick, but don't you think you were a little hard on Courtney? I mean, judging by your side of the conversation, Courtney's, Courtney can't help that her mom's sick and can't take you guys. Whatever, you just don't understand. You're right, maybe I don't. <sighs> hey, you calm down yet? Shut up. No, I'm not going to shut up and stop telling me that. I think you're really overreacting to the situation with Courtney and her mother. It's not Courtney's fault her mom is sick. I know. But Courtney could have found a different way to get to, the, to this house so we can go to the mall. Somebody else could have taken us. Like who? Who does Courtney live with? Her stepdad, but her stepdad was at work. He always works long hours. And... Her sister Kayla doesn't drive yet, so her mom was the only one available to take us. Look, it's okay to be disappointed, but don't take it out on Courtney. You guys are really good friends. I can't help it. I really wanted to go to the mall today. I saw these cute sunglasses, and I'm afraid someone's going to take them if, before I can get to them. So you're upset over a pair of sunglasses? How pathetic is that? If this is what it's like to be a teenager, I, I hope I stay a kid forever. You wouldn't be saying that if you were in a situation that I was in. You're right, I wouldn't be, because I'd be mature enough to... Excuse me, are you saying I'm, in, I'm immature? No, you said it. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. You said it by acting the way that you're acting. Courtney can't help that she had to break a promise to you. And I'm sure she feels terrible about it. Oh, and Christy? What? 
I hope that if you were in the same situation Courtney was in, she would be nice enough to understand. hate when she's right. <sighs> Come in, doors open. Hey, Steph. Oh, hey, Courtney. I thought you weren't allowed out. Well, my mom said I should get out of the house so she doesn't get me sick. And don't worry, I won't get you sick. I'm not worried. Are you here to see Christy? Yeah, I am. She called and said she wanted to talk to me. I wouldn't talk to her if I were you. Why? Because she's really mad. No, it's okay. She apologized to me over the phone. She wants to talk with me. Okay, well, you know where our room is. Thanks. <sighs> this ought to be good. <sighs> Come in. Hey, hey Courtney, you can sit down if you want. So what do I talk about? I owe you a big apology. Yes, you do. I was being selfish. All I could think about was myself. Even Stephanie couldn't get through to me. Well, she kind of did, but not in the beginning. I am so sorry I was so mean to you. I really, she said I really wanted to go to the mall. Well, do you think that I would purposely break my promise? You should know me better than that. You're right, I should. And I do, it's just, I don't know. I just really wanted to go to the mall, but I shouldn't have blamed you for it. No, you shouldn't have. That really hurt. I can only imagine how much I hurt you, and I'm sorry. I really am. If there's any way, thing I can do to make you forgive me, just name it. Stop with the dramatics. I'm not being dramatic. I'm serious. I was a real jerk to you, and I'll do anything to make it up to you. You don't have to make it up to me. Just be a little more understanding next time. Hopefully there won't be a next time where I'll have to break a promise, even by accident, but... You gotta consider the source. You're absolutely right, I do. And I am really sorry that I was so mean about your mom being sick. I was being really selfish and I am really sorry. I forgive you. You do? Yeah. I mean, I was disappointed too that mom couldn't take us to the mall. But when you're sick, you're sick. I know. But the good news is that we can hang out if you want. You still want to hang out with me? Yeah. We're friends, aren't we? Best friends. Best friends. Okay, we can hang out, but on one condition. Oh, here we go. What is it? Stephanie gets to hang with us, too. Yeah, great. I'll go get her. <laughs> this show is so funny. Hey, Steph. Hey, you look like you're singing a different tune. Yeah, it's thanks to you. What did I do? Well, you you made me realize that I treated Courtney so unfairly. So to make it up to you, I want you to hang out with me and Courtney. Really? You never let me hang out with you and your friends. I know, don't cheapen it. Do you want to hang out with us or not? I'd love to. Just give me a couple minutes. Okay. Wow, I should be the mature one more often. <laughs>